Hi guys, VST here, VLSP Tech. Yes, Samsung are not giving me even one day off. Why? Because take a look at how many new updates of stock applications do we have. They are pushing them like crazy. Update for Samsung 3, update for media and devices, update for the voice recorder, photo editor. And now guys, the most interesting news. You all know that the Galaxy Labs was not working on the S21 series, so I find a way, a workaround and etc. to just get some parts of it working. And here they are, Samsung just released the Galaxy Labs, right, really crazy. But not only Galaxy Labs is working right now on the S21 series, they added some new things, so add more future to extend battery life, screen power saving, power saving during bedtime, optimize settings that use a lot of battery and etc. And now here guys, very important. Thermal Guardian and Memory Guardian are added from One UI 3.0, it also depends on models. So besides the File Guardian and the Battery Tracker and the Booster, right now we have also these new two things, I'm, I'm really eager to check them out. So we have the Galaxy App Booster, the File Guardian, the Battery Guardian, the Battery Tracker and also an update to the One Hand Operation. And guys, there is actually only one word that can describe what is going on here. I have pressed the Update All button right now and I will tell you the word, this is really Samsung is on an update spree. They are really updating one here at 301 like crazy. They've pushed five updates for almost like one month for the S21 devices. People were not happy with the battery life, they were not happy with the performance, and Samsung clearly is listening to the users. So they're putting updates like crazy, not only of course to the system firmware with patches and security updates, but also updating the stock apps. And I know I sound a bit excited, but yeah, that's who am I. My name is VST Valiant Valiant Speaks Tech. Guys, 96% watching this video right now are not subscribed. Please help me fix that one, you know. Just go there and hit the subscribe button. There is also a bell. You can also click on the bell so every time I do a video like this, you guys are gonna get notified. And as I speak now in real time, right, because I do my videos in one shot. Now, a lot of people are asking me, how the hell do you manage to put up so much videos? Well, you know, I'm on a very tight schedule because I'm a father of two kids and I have a daily job to run. So I just take 20 minutes. I shoot a video in one time, but hey, here we are, one shot video, all updated. Let's go now and open Galaxy Labs because I'm really so eager to see the new things here. Galaxy App Agent, Samsung Electronics. Introduction, Galaxy Apps Agent saves your device memory if the Galaxy Labs and inner apps don't work properly. Okay, I mean, yeah, well, let's update that one. So apparently you need to also update something called the Galaxy Labs Agent. Let's try to run it right now for the first time. So Galaxy App, here it is, Galaxy App. A booster. So we have the battery tracker, we have the battery guardian, we have the Galaxy App Booster, and these two things, guys, are new for me. So I see those things for the first time. Now the Thermal Guardian and the Memory Guardian. Let's go directly to the Thermal Guardian. Manage device temperature. Oh, and actually it's kind of like an application you need to install in addition, so I'm gonna hit the install button right now. I'm gonna go back to my Galaxy Labs because I guess the same will happen also with the Memory Guardian. Memory Guardian offers a way to track device performance based on memory usage and provide function to clean up memory. Optimized memory will help to increase device performance and you see me hitting here the install button like crazy. All right, so let's go back to the Galaxy app. It's really interesting to understand what is the difference between those things and the Galaxy app booster. Galaxy app booster pretty much having the same design we used to see in the One UI 3.0, all right, so I'm not gonna hit that one. Let's just open the Thermal Guardian first. Jesus, that really looks interesting. What do we have here, guys? Here we have on the Y scale, we have Celsius, so this is the temperature. And here we have also the timeline, so 12 p.m., 6 p.m. And we can see the device temperatures and their values throughout the time. What is this one here, threshold, the thermal threshold? Let's try to adjust that one. Thermal threshold will be increased to Celsius from the default, Jesus. So you can apparently set up the thermal threshold. We have the threshold here, so apparently you're gonna get notified if you are in these danger zones here. So you see, when I'm here in this middle zone, guys, you can see the frowny face, but if you go up like here, probably when you do some extensive gaming, then this is not good. Let's see the individual values. The reason list, oh, it also gives you the reason list. So let's see, I wanna see this point here. I have some high temperature usage around 12 p.m. And yeah, what is the reasons? We have high CPU usage and also environment, but it seems that you can also click down below 
<laughs> Jesus, this is really amazing. I'm gonna do a screenshot. This is really amazing, guys, because you don't only see the temperatures and when you have hit or reached these levels, but you can also see the reason behind. In that case, high CPU usage caused by Antutu 2 and environment blankets. Device can be overheated when the cooling process was interrupted. Please check the environment around the device, all right? Environmental factors, high CPU usage, again, Antutu. 2. Let's check this one here, only environment, okay? And we have here also CPU. In the CPU, you can apparently also see how CPU behaved. So here, the red line here, all these peaks is actually the temperature and the blue line is the CPU. And it's quite clear every time I'm having some temperature peaks like here, right? I was doing some antidote testing. We can see this from the high CPU usage. Of course, the CPU was utilized at the maximum, right? Go about, you can check here, latest version 200022. This is really a very, very useful tool. And I'm really so happy to see Samsung finally putting this as a stock application. Let's check now the Memory Guardian. Memory Guardian sounds also very promising. It's pretty much doing the same, but with your memory, Total memory now, I know I have 8 gigabytes of RAM because this S21 Plus has 8 gigabytes of RAM and I'm using almost 50%. Let's clean up almost 4 gigabytes of RAM. Pressing up the clean up button, whoa. Some important apps can be restarted immediately. This helps cooling unused apps. All right, why not? And then history, Jesus, this really looks very good. It's good for performance to keep the sum of running and system less than 80%. If it keeps over 80%, you reboot your device or force stop unused applications. You can see here all these colors, they have a meaning. This one here is the cache one. Then we have the yellow one are the running application. Oh, even you can select them with nice animations. And here we have the system, right? So this is here using system apps. This is here the running apps right now, like Telegram, Facebook, Instagram, whatsoever. And then here we have the cache application. And see, if we go here, we have the about, pretty much same, 200018, okay. Let's go back. Definitely very useful, guys. The Thermal Guardian gives you information about your temperatures and you can set up thresholds and also CPU usage. This is very, very handy. The Memory Guardian pretty much able to clean your memory. Now you see, I clean them once, now I go back, I have to do again a cleaning. Some of these applications like Google Play Services, Android system, like the watch plugin used to connect my phone to the watch, of course, they're gonna get restarted. This is also what you can see from here when you go back to the Memory Guardian. But once in a while, you can try to clean this from here, right? So you see I have a lot of application. You can also try and restrict those applications from other channels, but this here, very handy. You see the history, and I pretty much think that this update is doing a fantastic job. Battery tracker, this was a standard function from the Galaxy Lab, so I'm not gonna review that one. We have also here the battery guardian. It gives you some standard recommendation, like going back to 60 Hertz, or let's say reducing the screen timeout. I'm really impressed with what Samsung is doing right now, so I'm just gonna give them a thumbs up for updating so many things and finally bringing the Galaxy Lab to the One UI 3.1 with this latest edition, the Memory Guardian and the Thermal Management. So Samsung, this goes to you. Guys, I really hope that you enjoy watching videos like this. If that's the case, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna have a chat with me and the team, you can go back in Telegram or go Telegram. You can find the channel. It's gonna be into the link down below. Stay safe and we're gonna be catching up in one of my next videos with that set VST over and bye.